Welcome to Live Like an Athlete. Today we're going to talk about heart rate training. Heart rate training with a heart rate monitor is an amazing way to increase your performance. What you can do is train in any of five different zones. You can train in an easy zone like this, or you can add some resistance and pick up the pace to the second zone, or the third zone where you start to go anaerobic, and then finally the fourth and fifth zone where you're getting the most bang for your buck and burning the most calories. Now the best and most efficient way to do this is using a heart rate monitor. The heart rate monitor that I'm using right now is the Mio Alpha. What it allows me to do is to train at whatever intensity that I want, and as you can see it doesn't require a chest strap, that's why I really like it. But when you're using a heart rate monitor for training, it can also help you to slow down. In other words, between effort intervals, what I can do is make sure that my recovery interval is slow enough so that I'm ready for my next effort interval. For example, right now, my heart rate is exactly 120 beats per minute. So that would be perfect to get ready for my next effort interval. Then when I speed up by increasing the resistance and the cadence, I'm now picking up the pace to the point where my high rate heart rate has now jumped up to 160. So this is called interval training. This way you're getting the most bang for your buck, burning the most fat, and also at the same time getting more fit. The more fit you are, the more calories that you burn. Let me show you how to use the heart rate monitor. As you can see, the heart rate monitor right now is telling the time only. All I have to do is push this one button and then it will start taking my heart rate. And you can see right now, uh, it's still finding it, and in a few seconds, then you'll see I'm at 112, and then I'm going to pick up my pace. And as you can see, when I begin to pick up my pace, the heart rate monitor is going to pick up, and then I have to also increase resistance, because a lot of people don't realize if you just pick up the pace without increasing resistance, then you're not doing that much more work. But you increase both pace and resistance, that's when you'll see a dramatic increase in your heart rate. Are you ready? And the great thing about heart rate training is you can use it for any athletic endeavor. If you're playing tennis, between points, you can check your heart rate to make sure it's down to the proper level of activation so that you're not going to be too excited for your next return of serve. In the weight room, between sets, you can make sure your heart rate has dropped enough so that you'll get the most out of your next weight training set. Uh, if you're stretching, you should make sure that your heart rate is at a very, very, very low level so that when you're stretching, you want your heart rate to be at a very low resting rate. So when you wake up in the morning, check your resting heart rate. Just look at your watch and uh, check it before your alarm goes off and do it for five days straight. And that will give you a true resting heart rate. You can average that and, and find your resting heart rate. And then your maximum heart rate you could subtract your age from 220, or what I recommend is if you're on a bike or if you're running, is check your heart rate at the highest level of intensity and then see where that number is and do that occasionally because many times that number is going to be your true maximum heart rate because that 220 minus your age uh, is, is not an exact science. Your heart rate monitor is a great personal trainer, it's a biofeedback tool, and it's a motivator. Thanks for joining us for Live Like an Athlete. We'll see you next week.